Hi everyone, um, this is my latest look. I've sort of done a smouldering purple eye with a nude lip and some highlighting going on. I've added some false lashes as well. So if you like this look, um, stay tuned onto the channel and I'll show you how I've achieved it. Hi everyone, I'm going to do a look today which is going to be with some purple shadows and quite sort of smouldering. I'm going to be using a lot of, a lot, sorry, of sleep products, so it's going to be quite an affordable one hopefully. I've already done my base with my foundation. I'm still on my Lancome Tint Miracle Sample, which is really, really good. I really would uh, recommend to go and try that at least. And I've already done uh, filled in my brows, which is... I use the uh, palette I'll be using for my eyes also. I use this colour here, Bark. This is a sleek palette. And then mm, it's called Au Natural. So it's from their natural range in the natural collection. I think they released last year sometime. So I've used Bark to fill in my brows. And I'm going to go and do, go ahead and do the base of my eyeshadow, which will be this grey colour up here, which is called Nubuck. Because you get this little sheet inside that tells you all the names. So this colour up here is called Nubuck, the grey colour. So I'm going to use a Sigma Large Fluff Brush, this one here, to just apply this onto my eyelids. I'm not going to prime them. I'm just going to give myself a generous coat of this. Making sure, sort of, just uh, That's what I like about the fluff brush. It's quite wide, so it helps you get a lot of product onto one area quite quickly. Sort of tap a little bit down. Right, so I'm going to go in and use the colour purple, sort of aubergine colour, if you can see it there. It's called Regal, and it's a matte colour. Let me show you it properly, right next to the black, this colour here. And I'm going to use a tapered, small tapered blending brush. Get some of this onto the brush. And you're going to blend it into your eye socket. So here, into the socket, sort of just blending it. And you want to sort of take it up. A little bit. It's not meant to look this perfect. It's, I, I like the sort of messy look. It's sort of the messy look you get with it. But you sort of want it to come to your um, line, well, your, your lash line, sorry. Also, so blending it down from your eye socket to your lash line. And then just onto your sort of eyebrow, just underneath your eyebrows. You also want to run some with a smaller brush. This is a short shader, see that there? So these brushes are great for just doing under eyelids, under your, under your sort of line here, just to bring it in. I'm not going to go the whole way, not to my tear duct, just sort of three quarters. Right, so I've done, blended both my eyelids, my eye sort of shadows together on both eyes. I'm going to go in and apply some liner. This is the Bad Girl Liner by Water, uh, Waterproof and it's by Benefit. You get a smudger at the end which is quite helpful and it's just a dark black. So just see, see that there. Yeah. So I'm just going to line both eyes with this. This purple eyeshadow is really really good for if you have like brown eyes or hazel eyes. It sort of really brings out the colour which is nice. Right, so I've just lined both my um, eyes. I'm going to go in and curl my lashes with my Shuli Mira eyelash curlers. I really do like this because you are, it's good to curl your lashes every time. I, I sometimes forget, but when I do remember it, my eyelashes seem so much longer for a longer period of time throughout the day, they last longer. So curling really does work. Sorry about all the noise at the moment. The neighbours have moved in and there. Hoovering, drilling, doing everything, it's all happening down there. I'm just going to curl both of them. And add some. The mascara I'm using is the Max Volume Flash by Rimmel. So I bought this in Boots, you can get it in Boots with Drug Weather. I really like the size of the brush. And I like the, the lashes it gives you. I'm just going to add some of this. But I will be adding full slashes in a moment. I've just applied my mascara. I really like the sort of spider effect it gives to your bottom lashes, which is quite, I'll come a little closer so you can see, just on the bottom ones. Because I'm going to be adding full slashes now, so you, sh uh, you want to sort of look quite even on top with your bottom. 
I'm going to be using my all-time favourite lashes, which are Adele's Demi Whisk lashes. I find them really easy to apply. And I like the fan they give to the outer lashes. I'm also going to be using my MAC Duo Adhesive Glue for this. I'm going to just apply some of this onto the lash. Just going to apply onto the lash line. I find they're quite wearable lashes. I've sort of worn them just in the day. They just give your eyes something a little bit extra, I think, which is quite nice. I'm going to change. I'm going to wait for the, uh, the glue to get a little bit tacky. And I just look down. I want this little wing bit to be quite the end, so just bring that down. And then just. <laughs> Sorry for the noise, all kicking off. So just, just making sure to find where you want the lash to start and finish. It's quite before you put the lashes on, so you'll know where to aim to place your lashes in position. You just hold it. If it's sort of you find it sticking out and not wanting to stay on your eyelid. Just hold it with your tweezers for a couple of seconds and it should stay because the glue does give you a, cup, a good, I'd say a good minute almost to mess around with it. If it does sort of fly off or go in the wrong direction, you've got time to sort of save it and put it where you want it to go. Right, so I've just finished applying both of my lashes. I'm going to move on to some contouring. I'm going to be using my sleek um, contour, face contour kit. I'll open up. You've got a highlighter and a contouring powder in here. I think my shade is light, the shade I've chosen. So you can see that there. I'm going to be using the darker one here with a. Oops, sorry. I'm going to be using a tapered highlighter Sigma brush. Oh, <laughs> you can see it there. I'm going to use this up, get some of the brown powder, suck my cheeks in, and just apply it in here and sort of rub it up to your eye and onto your sort of temple, your head. Contoured using the darker colour, I'm going to highlight now using the lighter colour on this side and I'm just going to put some of this underneath my eyebrow just to sort of highlight the eyebrow area. I'm going to tap it using this short shader, no flat definer, Sigma brush. So I'm going to dab some of this just under my eyebrow and sort of blend it down. going on the other side and also bring it down into the eyeshadows and then just on the top of your cheekbones just tap it there just to get the product on and then you can just blend it with your finger And I'm going to move on to some blush, blusher. The colour I'll be using for this is another sleek one. And this is called Pomegranate. This colour is quite purpley, sort of shimmer to it. So I'm going to use this on a Duo Fibre Powder Blush brush from Sigma. And just apply this to the apples of my cheeks. don't want to have too much, but you sort of still want it noticeable, so just blend if you've added a little bit extra. And finally, I'm going to move on to my lips. I've just put some balm on the uh, Elizabeth Ardenate Hour Cream, just so they're quite moisturised. And I'm going to go in with a, I think this is like one of the few, one of the only sort of other brand apart from Sleek, which is a MAC lipstick. This colour is in... Velvet Teddy, it's a matte colour. It'll come a bit closer. Can you see that there? It's quite sort of nude -y, but uh, matte, so I like the finish it gives your lips. So I'm just going to go in straight with this and apply it to my lips. I'm 
And then finally, just before I forget actually, I will add a tiny bit of concealer. This is another drugstore, Lasting Perfection. If you can see that there. Collection 2000. This colour is four deep. I'm just going to dab some of this underneath my eyes just to sort of lighten that area. And then use my Sigma concealer brush just to blend it in. Right, so I've just blended my concealer under my eyes. I'm just going to finally powder using another MAC one. This is the Prep and Prime Translucent Finishing Powder. It's just white, sort of, I don't want to turn upside down because it's all going to fall out. But it's sort of white translucent powder. So I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this. Just on my forehead. It's white, but it dries clear on your skin. And then just round here. Right, so I've just finished with my translucent powder just if I don't want it to look too shiny and I hope this sort of the finished look it's quite a matte lip but I like that and I like the purple sort of aubergine colour eyes I've gone for so I hope this has been helpful and um, don't forget to subscribe guys or if you want to leave a, um, leave a link to your channels below so I'd like to see sort of other people's channels or if you've got any comments or any sort of things you'd like me to do for further videos that would be helpful so I hope you're all having a good day guys and I'll see you again soon bye bye